Today I will show you how to simulate an asteroid impact in your kitchen. For today's experiment you will need a deep plate filled with water and a little marble or a small stone that is almost covered by the water if it's inside of the plate. Then you need a small compact camera or a DSLR to record yourself taking this little marble and dropping it into the water like this. And I would recommend to use a fast lens like this 1.8 50mm lens and also maybe you want to put a filter on here to protect it from water spilling around. So I put on a filter like this. Then we need a lot of light to have a small shutter speed. So we have one light here and also one light over there that will be going onto this tripod. So you take your camera and mount it on the tripod, focus onto the meteorite, the small marble, and then drop it into the plate. I would recommend a drop height from around 1 meter. It should be something like this. So you do this maybe like 30 times and make sure that the water is not dropping from the marble, like here. Wait till the water is calm and then just let it fall into the water. And then take a look on the computer what you got. Now we have imported our footage from the SD card and we can open it for example in iMovie. But this will also work the same way probably in Windows Movie Maker. In iMovie we have a new project and we need to import our footage. We go on import movies and we select one of those in here. Click on import and this will take some minutes. Now it is done processing and we have here our footage. We can now scrub through the footage and find an interesting spot. For example this one. And if we now use our arrow keys, we can go to the footage frame by frame. So we press to the right and we can take a look what happens when the marble drops into the water. So let's say we have decided for maybe this impact here. We select it and then we drag it into the actual movie area. And here it's saying something about frame rates. We don't want to change those. And now we can go on clip, slow motion and set this for example to 10%. And if we play it back now. You get a slow motion clip. Now you can do some editing and export your video and upload it maybe to YouTube as a video response to this one. I'm looking forward to see all of your homemade meteorite impacts. Alright, now it's time to analyze the data and discuss the results we will find. Let's take a look at the impact frame by frame. We see here how our meteorite is coming from the top and is hitting the water. The water is already repelled to the side as you can see by the shadow. We would benefit from some additional frames here, but unfortunately I could only record this in 30 frames per second. However, you can see here that the impact crater is a lot bigger than the actual asteroid. Also, we can see how very fine droplets of water get ejected from the impact site. In the next frame we see how the impact matter gets ejected further out. On the left we see a secondary impact, caused by material of the impact site. We can see here how the impact wave is going further out, but is also going back together on the spot where the meteorite hit. Now we have some turbulences and that was our impact. Of course it should be mentioned that the meteorite would not remain intact like the marble here and would shatter into a lot of pieces. Also the actual impact might look a little bit different because we are using water here and it's a very small scale, but I think this experiment can really give you an idea what an actual impact might look like. Let's enjoy some other impacts. We can also watch this impact from the top. This again shows how big the impact crater is compared to the actual meteorite. 
And you also see again very nice secondary impacts that are caused by matter thrown into the air by the main impact. We can now compare our results with the craters we find on the Earth, or for example also on the Moon. The Moon is here an easy example because the craters are not changed that much as they are on the Earth. If we take now a look at the Moon, we see there are a lot of craters, and the craters have very special features. We can see some secondary impacts that we also saw in our experiment. And also we see there is a little peak in the middle, and this is because the matter is bouncing back a little bit. So it gets pushed to the side when the meteor hits, but then the earth is a little bit bouncy, so it gets pulled up in the middle, like with the water in our experiment. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you created your own little craters in your kitchen. And if you want to learn more about this topic, you can take a look in the book 21st Century Astronomy, and I will put the exact reference in the description below. As always, thank you for watching. Until next time, bye bye.